Hello my workies fam, welcome to my channel. My name is Mia and this is me workies and today we're gonna talk about creating websites from scratch in Figma in the most easiest way and then launching them online using the best tool that there is and it's super user friendly, it's really easy to use and I do it all the time. This is what I wanted to talk to you guys about. This is actually a great way of transferring your landing pages, your websites to Framer without code it's like really designer friendly so let's say I've designed this landing page right here for my portfolio for example all I have to do is that I have to click on my frame I have to click here Figma to HTML with Framer this is their plugin and just wait till they copy all the assets then I would come here create a new Framer file over here and while that's happening I'm just gonna come here and show you guys all of this great template templates that they have. They have a lot of free templates for your websites or whatever you want to do and they have some paid ones. All these are really good designs and like they have animations and you can actually really play out with them but if you didn't want to you can just go ahead and paste your Figma file here. So I'm just gonna change the width to 40 and then I'm gonna paste my design right here okay and while you're pasting you gotta know that if you haven't put everything into frames or groups or auto layout it might get messy in framer so you have to make sure to clean that up and the reason that I'm just telling you guys about framer is that I've been using a lot of different platforms to like try to code my portfolio and just play out with them and none of them were as easy to use and like as user friendly as this one the whole platform is really clean it's really easy to use and I absolutely adore it this is what I wanted to show you guys so here for example the only component for me that was not in a frame was this component right over here so the problem here is that it was not on a frame and now it's just it got messed up and everything so you can go ahead and like check here see whatever is missing what's the problem for example this was on top for me so you can actually go back to figma fix all the problems here make sure these are all in frames all are intact and then come back here and paste it again and after you did that this is really cool but you can just publish it after this is published you can just review the link right here this would be your website and then you can work on the animations they have all these super easy plugins and stuff like that that you can use but it's basically the easiest way this place got messed up a little bit so i have to fix it but it's really easy just by a click and if you don't want made in framer you can just go ahead and get their plan and add your custom domain you have to upgrade your plan so let's show you the pricings as well this is turkish lyric it's not <laughs> dollars so the pricing is really good it's basically super easy to use and i love it so if you have portfolio a website that you don't want to give to a developer to code and you want to play around with it just to make sure and like it's super easy and you don't want to like don't have a huge budget for it i would suggest framer it's a lot easier than all the other ones that i use and basically it has its own a lot of tutorials for you to create really cool animations and generally i just love it so much they have this cool tool start with ai if you have something in mind and you don't know how to raise it or how to create it you can just go ahead come here use framer ai and just set portfolio so i'm just gonna go to chat gpt and just give it to give me a prompt so let's see it's writing it for frame area it's okay it didn't understand it fully so i'm just gonna copy it anyways and see what turns out here start this is really good because they're gonna give you the responsive versions as well and then you can actually go ahead and change the colors change the fonts over here and just everything you wanted to and even if you didn't like how they designed this website for you you can just create regenerate and it will create a new website for you and they have some limited options you know it's not like really awesome designs so let's say i don't like this and i'm just gonna refresh this find 
color that I like. Let's say this one and just click on regenerate. So basically this is the whole thing. Yeah, if you wanted to get something done quickly, you could just use AI and not the ready templates that they have. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've used this tool and just share the link of the websites that you create in the description. There are a lot of deeper videos regarding learning framer. You could actually use them if you want to dig deeper and actually use that as a primary tool for creating websites, for coding websites. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure you subscribe leave a comment like this video and i'm gonna see you in the next one by the way you guys you haven't sent any of your designs for the design challenge i'm doing it you can check in my instagram see what i'm doing see and get like inspiration and send me your designs from the ui challenge i want to see it and i'm super excited for it Bye.